Welcome to CS Technopedia. Let's learn website design. Website designing have large vacancies and large opportunities to do work and also to learn. I am giving introduction for website designing. In future videos, we will learn a new technologies and new techniques which we are using for creating web designing. Okay. In this video, I am going to cover HTML. So the basic is very important. Our base should be very strong. So, in order to make your web designing base strong, I am going to give you very clean and simple learning kit. Okay. In this video, I am going to cover HTML. So, in next video, I am going to tell you about CSS and then JavaScript. After that, we will learn a new techniques which we are following for designing a website. Before moving on to our web designing languages, I mean HTML, CSS, JavaScript, let me learn some basics like what is website, what is web page, what is domain, likewise. So I think you know that first web page is this. So I have shown you the first website. This was given by Tim Berners Lee. For CERN, it's a nuclear research organization. For data con uh, conversation, I mean, uh, for data transferring between their team, they have developed this website in August 6, 1991. So this was the link. If you put this link in browser, you will be getting this website. This was the first website just created. Then web page. A website is a combination of web page, simply. Simply, a website is a combination of web page. There is a difference between website and web page. Website won't be alone. The combination of web page will form a website. So, web page is, contains text, graphics, audios, videos, hyperlinks and all. Okay, for example, if you are opening a uh, website, you will be uh, you will be seeing uh, many number of web pages. I mean home.html, labotus.html, gallery.html or uh, PHP or Python or ASP. So whatever the language but the basic is HTML. So I just given that example. What is domain? Domain is the address where our website can be accessed. Okay, initially a uh, domain name is uh, symbolized with IP address. It's a combination of numbers. So, remembering all those numbers is uh, somewhat difficult. So, a uh, domain name came, for example, uh, www, I mean worldwideweb.cstechnopedia.com is for commercial. Every domain name will be having IP address. Okay, uh, you can... You can visit our link cstechnopedia.com slash findip.php. So here if you put any website like uh, Google, Facebook, if you put any website, you will be uh, able to see an IP address. So this IP address is a main thing which, which is stored in a table that's known as DNS. Okay, this is domain name system. It's commonly called domain name server where this domain name and IP address are stored together. If I am typing a www.google.com, actually in server it redirects to the IP address is 172.217.1.36. So, like that. Okay, you can check for every domain, you can see IP address. So website having two types, mainly two types. Apart from we have uh, many categories of website, but basically it, it was two type. One is static and one other is dynamic. Static means user can uh, view your data. If you are doing business, if your business data will be uh, visualized for user, but your website won't get any data from user. This is static website. Just Presenting your business or your thing, what you want to show show to the user through web. Dynamic website. Dynamic website will be like a Facebook. In Facebook, 
you will be posting some uh, data like uh, photos videos content like that and you can uh, see what others have been uh, pushed so this type of websites are known as dynamic website which getting data from user and also showing data to the user so next one is web hosting if we are creating website so it should be hosted in common server say i am creating a website for my business if i am creating in my system it won't shown to all the users through net okay so i want to make it present in a server see my website files should be hosted in a server through internet that data will be accessed to visitors that is web hosting then doc type see when a page is loaded when a page is loaded the browser will know through this doc type keyboard okay the browser will know what type of language is present in this document like doc type html represents that this file contains html codes so our browser will act up according to that html next one is how website built is i i already told you website have a basic thing like html css javascript see html will act as a structure for a website so for giving a structure for a website we are using html just like a skeleton of our body so css means putting dresses like colors alignments uh, margins padding so like this type of uh, things can be given in css okay in javascript we can give actions or validations okay validations can be given in javascript let me start to learn html programming so html programming uh, will consists of only tags tags means it it have opening and closing tag inside that we will be giving data see so it will come between angle bracket okay we will be giving a uh, data so after we have closing tag with forward slash okay i just giving an example for tag okay let me start a structure for a html every html document will be start with html tag before that we have seen doc type right so we can give doc type as html okay we give it, we have given doc type as html so browser can understand we are going to use html inside this programming file okay so it should be ended with html tag so this is this is opening tag and this is closing tag so closing tag will comes with forward slash again let me start a uh, giving head section as name implies it starts with head the word head and end with forward slash same head okay in head section uh, we will be giving the needs which is used for this html document for example like uh, css files or meta tags title see title title opening tag so my first program then closing tag for title okay after that we can give a meta tag symbol so here i am just giving a cat set let me start our body 
body tag will end with closing tag see both opening tag and closing tag will contain the same data like body means body head means head okay the only difference is forward slash so what the content which is given inside this body tag will be displayed in our web browser that wide area okay here i just giving welcome now just i have created a, a small a website this time saying control s this time saving in desktop or creating folder just i'm putting this as simple after that for representing this was a html file we want to give extension as dot html and then we can see okay let me run this program okay, this is simple dot html open with just i am using google chrome so i am giving that see we got welcome to cs technopedia data okay and we want to notice one more thing see my first program which is given inside this title have shown in my first program as a title okay this is a title tag what are the data which is given inside this title tag will be shown in the top of the web browser let me start a simple tag like um, just i'm starting with p tag is for paragraph some content end with slash p just save and go here and refresh some content will be here so for so for showing how paragraphs will work so we need some more content right i am able to type something blah 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 so i want to search for lorem ipsum lorem ipsum means just dummy text which is uh, which is used by website designers for putting uh, some sample data see after that p tag so i am putting some some tag so i am putting some sample text and then i am ending with again p tag so control s yes. this i am going here and refresh see the p tag will be shown okay see here i am giving enter and saving and refreshing but it won't it won't have any enter here for that purpose we are giving br as break just control s then save okay here we got one line feed this break is used for line feed just i'm giving another break and one more break okay control s see after that we can give a heading heading we have six type of heading tag starts with h1 to h6 this h1 gives you an heading then h2 so we having six type of heading here 
I hope you understand heading tag and one more thing is this heading tag is used not only for giving heading but also for giving data for SEO purpose. So, so while creating a website you should give h1 h2 in dot for giving a main keywords then a guy okay let me see a hypertext okay this time giving a title hypertext hypertext means simply a giving link to another website okay let me start with A. A means anchor. So start with A and we have attribute is href is a hyper ref is equal to the web page which we want to open here. So I am giving https colon slash slash www.google.com okay. This time I'm putting this closing the tab and so I'm giving Google okay I want to close this a tag we have already seen one standalone tag this is break and next one other one is HR is for horizontal rule it will give a line okay after giving this hyper text I mean a href anchor text so we got one Google which will be differ from normal text. This is hypertext. See when we click this Google page hub will open. This is hypertext giving a link for a text. This is hypertext. So if you see when I am clicking Google it is opening in the same, same page. So in order to go uh, back to my page I want to give this browser back button for that just I am adding an attribute so I want to tell you what is meant by attribute while using a tag simply a name okay, tag name after we are giving uh, some space and giving some more rules for that particular tag means it is attributes for example I am giving a rule target after clicking on this Google link, it should go for a blank page. So, underscore blank. Just I am clicking. See, this was opened in a next. For that purpose, this target is used. If you miss this tag, see all these elements will be converted converted to heading tag 6 okay so all these will be converted to the heading 6 uh, nature so it, it won't show error as like other programming language but the target will be changed the visual presentation will be changed so we should close every tag if you open okay let me see table tag okay how to create table in HTML so just simply table tag I just opening a table tag and after that we should close the tag inside the table just for creating table just to see this example so I want to create this table means so I need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 rows and 1 is heading then 5 is data okay and 2 columns okay product column and another one is price column and we have 6 rows so rows will be mentioned as table rows I mean TR okay these data inside this the data will be there now the data will be presented as td this means table data this title this product and price is represented as th means table 
heading okay let me move on to coding see i have uh, given table table tag and initially one table heading Okay. Initially, we want to create a row. Okay, in first row we have table heading T H. Okay, on this product. Okay, next, we want to close this tag again T H and its price. Again, close this table heading. and we want to close this table row one row have been completed so we need more so if we need a uh, next five rows this we create it like tr start with g tr and end with slash tr okay inside that we want to give data so in this line we have given heading here we are going to give td is a table data this time giving one this time giving the tall the tall close td again td the tall price is around 56 so this time td closing the td Second row. Okay, just we have created six rows. One is heading, and the other five were data. Let me save and run this program. Table have been created, but uh, it it didn't show any border, right? So we can give border as an attribute. Just give a space border. Is equal to we can give one or two like that. I just am giving two, so you can get. Then we move on to list. We have created a table. Then we move on to list. Just am putting heading. Which file is for list? List have two types. One is ordered list and another one is unordered list so ordered list is represented with a uh, number or uh, alphabets like that for unordered list we will be uh, giving like a star a round circle bullets like that 
Okay, this is ordered and unordered difference. Let me start doing ordered list. So it is represented as OL. This ordered list OL and end with sin OL. So inside this, as it was list, it just give li. Okay, just, just close the tag. So list one. Again li here list two. Then again li is list three. Okay. This is OL is for ordered list. Basically it come with numbers. Just see. See, order list will come with numbers. Let me go for unordered list. This UL is unordered list. List 1. Close this UL tag. Same. It comes with bullets. We can change this uh, list type. We can change this list type like giving list uh, by giving type is equal to A. So it listed with A. Okay, same here. Type is equal to mm, circle. So it comes with circle. We can change this type uh, to image or rom and anything let me do it in css so that's a right way for giving uh, these type of styles and all just i gave these type for uh, uh, for more understanding let me move on to the next topic if you want to use uh, some special character in your website uh, like less than symbol or greater than symbol or at symbol like that it won't show see if you are giving like a less than symbol means it will take us a tag html understands only the tag so less than symbol means it's starting of tag okay for uh, for this purpose just we are giving characters entities so its name is html entities so we having n number of html entities which have been uh, given in the description you can see n number of uh, entities I have given link in description so we're just giving an example if you are if you want to give a less than symbol you want to give like Amberson okay let me give like here see I'm giving a less than B okay just putting in a paragraph tag in paragraph see after saving this we will be getting only a okay see after this this content have been changed to bold see the difference why bold means b means bold b tag represent bold a character formatting tag if you want to use like these type of characters you want to give this type of entities. So, what this type of entities is Amberson L T colon B. Okay, save and refresh. So, you will be getting less than symbol. Okay, for greater than symbol, like GT, just change it as GT. 
so bright is the symbol okay if you want to use like a copyright symbol which we you, you will be seeing in the footer of the site is copy ends with semicolon control s yes, is save so copyright symbol for giving registration you like this you come like r with circle i think you can understand this character entities okay that we move on to next thing is some more attacks like as we seen before b is for bold attack i is for each link it's basic tag uh, nowadays we are giving these type of uh, styles in css itself so this time giving a uh, common knowledge that's all nothing else so if you want to give underline just give u tag underline okay if you want to write formulas like a square plus b square like that means just put a for square this is super yes u p s u p means super 2 okay then close the super tag plus b again super yes u p 2 okay control s the bold italic underline a square plus b square i didn't give break that's why it came like this even though i have given enter it won't take this enter and all so we want to give break for giving line fill if you want to write see if you want to write a uh, coding okay for that purpose you you don't want to give um, like um, b or like that see you can give like pre just i'm giving function okay open and close int a int b c equal to a plus b okay we're just closing this pre tag see after saving this i didn't give anything i didn't give br and all how this is presented inside this pre tag see if i am giving tabs okay just i am saving this so that number of tags will be given here also that's the difference between normal tag and this pre tag so i hope you understand this pre tag so just we move on to next tag which you want to know mock you mock you close mock you tag save and refresh so mock you tag gives sliding text you can give image also here next how to link a image into our website image space image is a tag name and s r c is source is equal to from where we going to link a image so i am going to show this tables.png image 
into our simple dot html file so for this html file this img folder is parallel it was parallelly placed inside that image uh, image folder we having tables dot png for this we just putting like img folder slash inside img folder tables dot png okay control s this time saving let me see the result image have been linked see if i am disturbing this link okay in this image i am putting this image here parallelly okay this simple dot html and tables dot png is placed parallelly nothing found inside this image with this uh, name okay and that uh, tables dot png name if i am refreshing this i won't be getting image okay if i won't get image it should show some text error text like okay for that purpose we do just using alt as you name of the image table image dot control see if image is not found this alt text will be shown here okay see if i am removing this image because tables dot png is placed parallelly to simple dot html this time refreshing so we had while giving this type of link we should be very careful and we should know where that particular image is located and giving extension like png uh, dot jpeg or dot, dot gif so these are all very important Uh, form is used for getting data from users. If we are designing a web page, so in that web page we can form uh, forms so that we can get data from users. So for dynamic page and all forms are very important. So for for activating that form, I mean after getting data for saving the data into server. Uh, for that purpose we will be using uh, python or php or asp dot net like that okay we will be seeing about these uh, languages in upcoming videos so don't forget to subscribe our channel so just i am creating a page with form for for a form name method and encryption type is very important for creating form name implies a name of the form and method is two type one is get and post get uh, get means the data which is sent from this form can be bookmarked so it is not safe so we can use post method post method uh, can send more data Uh, when compared to get method so encryption type so encryption type is uh, three different uh, type one is application one is plain text and one is multi part so uh, defaultly take uh, application type next attribute is action action is used for giving a uh, processing file i mean dot php file name in which that insert query or update query uh, have been uh, have been written let me start uh, to adding form elements so form elements first one is input so input have a different type just we are using text type for getting student name just be running this 
program. So we got one text box. I have given this text box name as student name and ID uh, as student ID. So both are same name and student uh, name is. So I have given name and ID as student name and I have given a value is equal to Sam. We just run it up. So the value will be defaultly given. Then read only, read only is used for just freezing the data. So we are unable to change the data. We can select but we are unable to edit the data. So that's read only. Next one is a pattern. Pattern is used for representing what in, in what pattern our data should be. This can be used for a mail address or password. So this is very useful for these type of uh, uh, fields. So the next one is we are just we are creating a submit button so that we can see uh, the error. Okay. In that pattern, I have given only capital A to capital Z and small A to small Z and uh, 0 to 9 okay we can give only these uh, letters or numbers so placeholder is used for um, just giving hint for our users If I give required means it won't allow to submit uh, the form without entering the data in that particular field. Uh, then number, in number we can only enter numbers so it will be having uh, a top and bottom arrows for increasing numbers one by one. So step is used for how many steps the number should be increased like uh, three, 6, 9, 12. So next is a radio button. So radio button is used for male, female, gender for these type of information. For getting these type of information we are using radio button. So here value is very important because while submitting this form the data in that value field will be sent to the server. Just I have created radio. And one more thing, uh, we want to group that radio button. Then only we can select any one. Okay, for that purpose I just giving name, gender, for all these three radio buttons. grouping these uh, buttons then only we can select any one the nature of the radio button is selecting any one Let, then input type is equal to checkbox checkbox is for getting multiple data like uh, education qualification see I am giving values equal to school then for next checkbox value is equal to graduate Okay. So input tag no need uh, closing tag. It's a standalone tag. 
So next check box is post graduate. Let me see the result. Check checkbox have been created. Then uh, we can see input type is equal to button. We have several buttons like uh, submit, reset, cancel. then input type is equal to email if i am giving type is equal to email the value the user should should write is email without giving email type if you submit means it will show error please include an at in a email address Okay, next one, input type is equal to file. This is used for uploading file. So, just we are uploading. So, table.png have uploaded. We are able to select two. We can only upload single file. That's the use of a file. I mean type is equal to file. So if I give multiple, I can select two, uh, two images. See two files have been selected. Input type is equal to hidden. Value is equal to 1, 2, 3. If I am giving this, it won't be reflected anywhere because it was hidden then input type is equal to image as like uh, we are linking image into a website just we are linking through src attribute so linked it will act as button so next one is input Type is equal to color. This is used for picking color. We can give initial value by just giving an hexadecimal. If I click this color box, color picker box will be opened. The next one. Input type is equal to month. So we can give time, date, week, month, date and time likewise. So next one is text to area. Here we can give a multiple lines like uh, columns, rows. Uh, this is used for giving comment section. We will be seeing comments and all no uh, big uh, input box. So uh, these box will be text area for getting big uh, data like description and all. So next one, select, select is for drop down option. So here also we want to give value is equal to, so value is equal, what value we given in value, it will be saved in a server. See, select. If I give selected, that particular value, Come with selected. 
still you not subscribe kindly subscribe thank you so much for watching